Lemon Tea Sparkling from Japan. Hey everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we're going to try a Japanese carbonated lemon tea drink. So uh, this is from Kirin and it's actually called, this actually says like afternoon red tea or black tea, I guess, uh, hong cha and uh, lemon tea sparkling obviously in English and it basically says the same thing here in Japanese and it says like a big relaxing uh, carbonated drink or something like that and it's limited edition and it actually has real lemon juice but not exceeding 10% okay so it's actually sort of natural I guess so it also has this label which says I think they are selected orchard lemons or farm lemons so not just any lemons but select ones so yeah how about that let's give it a try doesn't seem very sparkling what's up with that okay let's give it a try oh it is a little bit sparkling a little bit like when you slosh it there's some sparkling actually the Flavor is pretty good. It's like the right balance. It's not super sweet, but it's also not too tart. It's not too lemony. It's more like you're drinking like a tea drink that has like a hint of lemon, but then it's also a little bit sparkling, kind of like a sparkling apple juice, but with lemons maybe. So yeah, actually I kind of like it. So in Hong Kong, one of my favorite drinks before uh, was VLT. Uh, so that's Vita Lemon Tea by Vita Soy Company. Vita. Um, and uh, that one is actually super sweet relative to this. Um, that one, I use it in a lot of my videos as an example of like a high sugar drink. The sugar content in that one is something like 14 or 13 plus grams per 100 milliliters. This one is only 8.2. So it's almost, you know, half the sugar amount of that. And I think it's because maybe the lemon juice is not as strong. So they don't need to put as much sugar in to counterbalance it or what. But somehow it just seems like it's it's a lot less in your face. It's a lot less over the top. So that's one thing you could say about Japanese flavors. You know, they're sophisticated. Whereas in Hong Kong, it's like, put some more sugar in. Uh, put some more lemon in. Too sweet? Okay, we'll dump some more lemon in. Also, Hong Kong has its own kind of like lemon tea drink specialty, which is a lot stronger than this. So maybe it's also the kind of tea because this is a Hong Cha and that one's, I don't know what kind of tea that is. Uh, they also have Ceylon versions. Um, but somehow I actually like this one. So I have to give my final verdict on this guy and I'm just gonna say lemon sparkling tea. You sparkle up my life. Pretty good. Okay, so that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm trying to actually do bilingual videos now. Um, actually, I'm gonna film two separate videos at once. So while I'm filming this, I'm actually stopping and then doing it each part again in Chinese for my new Chinese channel. Um, so if it seems really disjointed because I'm jumping around, it's because I've actually been filming whole sections in a different language and then coming back and doing more English in between. So hopefully it doesn't suck too much. Um, hopefully it's efficient enough so I can actually do two versions of each video without having to buy two drinks and doing each video twice. Because I don't think I can handle that. I have a whole refrigerator full of stuff to film because uh, I'm headed back to Kyoto tomorrow. So see you guys next time here on Obscure Cola. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we're going to try Coca-Cola Apple. I'm here with my son in Japan. Just got this at a family mart today. Apparently Coca-Cola...